Ladies and gentlemen, each year, more than one billion tires reach the end of their life. Think of that, about that for a second. A lot of the tires get landfilled or even worse, burned, creating massive amounts of CO2 emissions and pollution. Here you see the fire pile in um, Spain before it got fire a couple of weeks ago. In Africa, there is actually a very different problem. Mosquitoes breed in them, creating all kinds of diseases like malaria. The second big problem is actually in the production of the tires. A big component of a tire is a black powder. It's called carbon black. It's all around you. It's in here, in here, in the paint, uh, in ink, in plastics. But about 70% actually goes into tires. And the production of the carbon black is very polluting. It takes two and a half liters of crude oil to create one kilo of the carbon black. It goes into the tires, it gets burnt. It's a disaster. So what we do is we create a circular solution for this problem. So we start with the tires, we take the steel out, harvest the carbon black, which then can be reused in new tires, paint, ink, or lots of other applications. And for each facility we build, we save more CO2 than one million trees can consume. And we won't stop with one facility. There's enough tires in the world to build 800 of them, saving almost one billion trees. I've been a serial entrepreneur for most of my life. I've built companies mostly in the West Coast, in the US, in technology, infrastructure, mobile. And yes, I had my share of success, had a couple good exits. And when I moved back and I reached the age of 40, I realized these are more in life than making money. What could I actually contribute to society? And I realized what I could do, and also my most happy moments were spending time in nature with my kids, and a long time ago as a little boy. And I realized I'm not a politician, nothing I can add in Paris, but what I could do is be an entrepreneur and have a really big impact. And that's exactly what Black Bear is going to do. And here's why. We developed the technology together with all the leading buyers of Carbon Black, companies like Michelin, Trelleborg, Fredestein, Goodyear in the tires, AXO, PPZ, Exalta in the coatings, Ziekwerk, Flint in inks, they have all validated uh, our end product, went through the R&D phase and are ready to buy. We raised 10 million euros, not from you guys, risky venture capitalists, but from conservative banks to build the first facility. It's built, it's ready, and we're actually ramping up production this summer. As a matter of fact, last week we produced the first batch of carbon black. The other beautiful thing, and that's actually very hard in clean tech, we found a very unique way to scale. We partner with all the local tire collectors. They already collect the tires. They have access to property, they have access to permits, they guarantee the feedstock, and they also have access to financing. And there's tires everywhere. In fact, there are enough to build 800 facilities worldwide. And finally, this is the most experienced and best team I've ever worked with. And I'm very proud to introduce them to you. Here on the left you see Chris. He founded two rubber companies, one of the top experts worldwide in carbon black. You have Ronald. He is the expert in Europe in terms of this technology and has developed the whole facility from scratch. You have Peter, who is one of the leading bankers in the Netherlands and decided he also wanted to change and do something useful for the world. Jan, he founded a 300-person comp trading company in China and now handles our commercial aspects. And finally, Joost, who came from Fluor and built many refineries across the world and now is building our 10 million plant in Nederweert in the Netherlands. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm very, very excited about this venture. We're ready to ramp up. We have customers lined up. We want to scale. So help me conquer the world together. Thank you.
Are you fundraising at the moment, Martin? We're actually fully funded now, but I'm probably raising a, a, a round of growth capital in Q4. How much? Five million. Now you know it. Thank you. Your job is done. <laughs>